far as breaking the silence, yeah, I always hated the production on that one. I mean, ever since it came out, after that, after breaking the silence, I mean, I was so unhappy with it. I've never listened to it. You know, I, I just hate it. You know, and I said, you know what? I mean, it's our music, and if if you want to screw it up, I mean, I want to go in the studio and do the production exactly how I want it. You know, instead of like having some producer tell you how you should sound, which you know, you pretty much when you write songs, you know, you know in your head how you want it to come out. So with victims, we went in and said, you know, never again how it happened with break, breaking the silence. We're going to do it our way, and at least if it doesn't sound good, you know, we know that we can't just sit there and point, you know, finger at, well, he did it or he did it. We know it was ourselves, you know, us that screwed it up. So with victims, I mean, to me, that's almost like a perfect album the way I visioned it. You know, I mean, sure, you know, sure there's little things. Now, 20-something years, I mean, I would change, but it's it's as near to perfect production how I wanted it, you know, that it happened at that time, you know. And with this new one, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Would I change it? Sure. I mean, I probably, you know, already, you know, a year later, just would like to see this or that that I would change. But not compared to Breaking the Silence, the whole thing. I mean, I'm not into re-recording albums, but, I've, you know, I, I just can't listen to that one, you know. I mean, it's not the songs, it's the production, you know. And some people, they disagree. They, they like that old school production, you know. It's like, I'm like, I'm not there to rec go and record an album that sounds like a demo. I've just never been a fan of it. And there's that whole, what I call the, you know, the metal police. I mean, it's like, oh, the production is too good. It's overproduced. You know, I mean, I don't buy into that. I mean, to me, overproduced is like saying the food tastes too good or the, that, that woman is way too beautiful. You know, that's how I compare it. I mean, you're saying that it's just too good. It's too good, what, for metal? If you want it to sound like a demo, then get a demo, you know. So, but, you know, everybody has, you know, their own opinion on it. It's like, oh, the modern production, the evil of, you know, metal. I'm like, I think it helps. It's great. I like hearing, you know, the cleaner, the better production. It doesn't take away from metal. It enhances it to me. I say, like, use the modern technology. Don't abuse it. It's just like anything else, you know. I mean, sure, I mean, you, you know, you like to, I mean, I'm not into using drum machines, absolutely not, you know. I'm talking about to where you still play, everything is still the same, but you have better tools to enhance to where the drums, I remember spending weeks and weeks and weeks, you know, on the drums trying to get it, you know, to where they sound decent, you know, it's one of the toughest instruments to get it in the studio. But now, I mean, you have certain techniques, you know, and, and you know, to where, wow, it's what used to take us two weeks, and now we can get it done in, in two days. it's not just us I think it's a lot of metal bands I mean Europe is always more was more like metal friendly <laughs> sort of speak you know um, it's just that's just the way it is it's always I mean I even remember like back in the day when Metallica I mean they were more popular in Europe before they broke the states you know all these bands I mean usually you break you know like Europe is always there to support you know and, and the toughest place to break is America and once you break America that's when you consider you made it you know but yeah I mean Europe is just I don't know whatever you know whatever it is in in the food here or in the water you know but you guys seem to be more metal friendly than it is in America. I mean, I think it has to do with the culture too. America is very like, you know, MTV and trendy oriented. Where Europeans, I'm like, eh. you know, there's definitely that too, you know, but there's those people that are just like, I really don't care about the trend. I mean, I, I know what I like, you know. That's why Motorhead, I mean, you know, no matter how old they get in this, I mean, you still get when they play that fan that was there from when he was 18 he's still showing up you know when he's 50 you know 
where in the states it really doesn't happen that way you know so you constantly have to rebuild you 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 could have fans from they like this album this album and then they don't even listen to metal anymore because grunge came in and that's in now so they all switch to grunge you know so it's very like you know like fast moving market and everybody tries to keep up with the fashion and trends and you know whatever MTV's and the TV sell <laughs> Well, there is a metal scene, but yeah, there is, but I mean, not to the extent where it was, and it's never gonna be. I mean, uh, people always try to relive something that happened. You know, that's impossible. That's why, you know, it's like so called the, the retro stuff. You know, because you can't copy the original happened, and it happened for whatever reason. Nobody sat around the table and decided, here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna, how we're gonna make the Bay Area thrash happen. You know, nobody cared. It just kind of like took its own, you know, uh, just snowballed on its own. Nobody planned it. But now, I mean, that's the only thing you know, I have, like, with the newer bands, they really plan, you know, it's like, oh, we want to be like that, you know, and we want to, you know, we want to do like that, we want to dress like that, where it's a little bit more, you know, it's just, I mean, that's why it's called retro, you know, it's, it's not that natural thing you just let it flow and whatever happens happens nobody decided it's like okay we're gonna wear leather jackets because you know it, it's you know now it's almost like some of the people that you I met youngsters they they tell you how thrash metal should sound and it makes me laugh you know I mean not to disrespect the youngsters I mean but you can't tell somebody you know who was there and you then you come to me and tell me like no but you should really do it like that and I said, you know, it's kind of a funny thing because when we started, that's what we're trying to break away from. It's like whatever was going on and all these rules and music and everything else, the thrash metal happened and it was like we did that to get away from that, all that conformity, you know, of it all and have the freedom to do whatever we wanted, you know. Now they tell me, oh, thrash metal should be fast. Uh, is there a thrash metal rules Bible something that I skipped you know that it says right there no who made you the you know that you know that it's supposed to be fast Oh, thrash metal shouldn't have a ballad again I missed that one you know on the, what page is it you know page nine threat oh yeah right here thrash metal no ballads you know it's like that's the whole thing the thrash metal at least in the Bay Area we did it's like that you can write anything anything you want that goes into it. It's a complete freedom, you know, to express and write the kind of music that you like. No rules. Thrash metal should be like only three or four minute songs. No, who said that again? Which page is it, you know, in the rule book of thrash metal? Where is it? Where does it say? Who wrote, who wrote it? You know, I didn't get a copy. You know, and now that's that's what I hate. It's like you guys are doing exactly what we tried to get away from when we started it. You know. No, I'm not sad. I mean, you know, I mean, it's all like, you know, I mean, you know, a lot of people. You know, they like to talk shit about them. I mean, I still think they're a great band. You know, it's like there are there are albums that I don't like. Uh, absolutely, you know. I mean, I can't stand Saint Anger. I don't know. To me, Metallica. I always, you know, it's like with Metallica. Well, the one thing I always liked about them is like that they were writing great songs and they had a great production. You know, right? I mean, after Kill 'Em All, they seemed to really find it, and and they, each album had their own kind of a production you can argue oh that one was better or that one was better but you can always count on great songwriting and good you know when they get in there in the studio and good production you know and I don't know what went wrong like I guess they decided that's enough we gotta try something different and that was Saint Anger and I, I don't like the songs or production or anything I don't know what they were thinking but you know it's their band I mean they you know who, who am I to argue? Whatever they've done, they've always succeeded. It was, you know, so 
they've done always the right things. And as far as you know us, I mean, it's a, so it was a compliment when people say, "Oh, you're like the next Metallic." I'm like, "Well, that's that's great, you know. We just we just don't see the success of it, you know. We just the label is there, it's like, oh, you're the new Metallica, but you know, we didn't seem to hit it, you know, on the same level. I mean, you know, bands like Metallica come around once every, you know, I mean, they're like the biggest stone like bands since like the Stones or the Beatles. It doesn't happen every year that you find, you know, I mean, who would have thought, you know, that when we were just having like yeah, you know, sitting around, you know, like 18 years old, drinking beer at the party and talking how we're going to put bands together, you know, that they would be one of the biggest, you know. That just never even, nobody could have predicted that, you know. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I mean, you want to be the most successful and do it for as long as you can, you know. I mean, um, you know, whatever happens, happens. I mean, you know, at this point, we're just taking it one tour at the time, one album at the time, you know, and see where it takes. You know, right now there's like a resurgence of thrash metal, you know, and I just wonder, it's like, okay, when thrash metal peaked back in, you know, in late 80s, the early 90s. So what's the next? Is going to be the grunge resurgence? I don't know. Is that coming next year or the new year after that? I don't know. You know, is history going to repeat itself? You know, and then everybody's going to turn and the and all those kids that are so excited about thrash metal now all of a sudden going to turn to grunge. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. You know.